I just hit 1,000 days without drinking alcohol. Stopping drinking is probably the most powerful personal development strategy which I've ever found. I've built three businesses, bought five houses, traveled to 15 countries, and learned a ton of lessons about myself and life in general since I went sober. I'm not trying to convert you into the church of sobriety. I just want to share with you the biggest lessons that I wasn't expecting to discover when I stopped drinking. The first thing I realized was how much more productive I was, which was ridiculous. Some of that was because I had more time, right? Saturday and Sunday mornings actually existed for me now. It wasn't just the late nights being missed and no more sleeping in though. It wasn't even that I wasn't rolling around in bed for half a day hungover. I had more attention and better focus. I was able to put my mind onto a single task for a long time. And the thing is, I like getting things done and being productive. That's a source of happiness for me. So by going sober, I was more productive, which made me happier. And it happened pretty much straight away. Another thing I noticed was how shocked people are when you tell them that you've gone sober. For some reason, alcohol is the only drug where if you don't do it, people assume you have a problem. They can't believe that you would choose not to drink. It has to be that you're hiding from a dependency. People either tend to try and take the piss or be overly sympathetic to something and check in to see if you need help. The sympathy is even worse than the piss taking, but over time, both of them get easier. One of the most surprising changes was that going sober forced me to become truly confident. I realized how much of mine and other people's confidence on a night out was really just dependent on alcohol. See, lots of people, myself included, use alcohol to make them more outgoing and charismatic. And far more people than realize it aren't actually extroverts. They're just drunk. The difference between being shy and outgoing is often just a couple of beers. Without alcohol, I had to become genuinely confident. I had to go and talk to that girl over the far side or speak up in a group without the assistance of alcohol coming in to make it easier. It meant I actually cultivated a genuine charisma and confidence that I still have now. Something else which surprised me was that going sober made dating harder with some girls, but it was a turn on for others. Most dates are in bars or restaurants, right? And you sit down and you get a bottle of wine or you have a couple of drinks at a bar and not drinking can be jarring because it makes the other person feel awkward. They might need the drink on a date so that they have confidence and it's not just a silent car crash. So some girls didn't like it, but others did. Going sober was a signal that I'm the sort of guy who has big goals and makes sacrifices in the moment for big achievements in the future. It separated me out from all of the other British lads who just live for the sesh. To be honest, I think it selected for the type of girl I'm after anyway. If a girl doesn't have the confidence to do a first date sober and can't understand why someone would rather chase their goals than a hangover, she's probably not for me. I also found that habits were so much easier to build. Building new habits are hard enough as it is, and I'd made it even harder by being hungover once or twice every couple of weeks. There is no chance that I'm going to do morning meditation or reading when I'm desperately holding on for dear life in the midst of a hangover, let alone if I'm still asleep. By having more stability in my schedule, I was able to build the consistency that I needed to embed these habits. In fact, I built a meditation habit five years ago, the first time I ever went sober, and I still use it today. That was a one-time investment that still pays dividends. Next up, better sleep was something that I probably expected to get. You know, and uh, no one feels rested after a night out, even if you spend most of the day in bed. But over time, my sleep generally improved a lot. I found myself feeling more rested, waking up less throughout the night. I don't know if this is because there were fewer toxins in my body, but I was still working until 3 or 4 a.m. multiple nights per week. So I had a lot of optimizing to do with my schedule, but simply removing alcohol seemed to have a massive impact. One of the things that I wasn't ready for was I'd make fewer bad decisions and have fewer regrets. You can achieve a lot of success in life simply by avoiding catastrophes. And when you go out drinking, you tend to make some pretty poor decisions. You cheat on partners, you have arguments with friends, you get into fights, you lose your keys, you break stuff. And there's something unfair about doing dumb shit when you're drunk, because it doesn't feel like you did it. I mean, you did it, but you didn't mean to do it. At least now if I messed up or made a bad decision, 
I could own it and learn from it. Over time, this meant that I picked up lessons which I genuinely valued, as opposed to just don't buy a bottle of Jaeger at two in the morning or don't go to that kebab shop at the bottom of the street. Next up, having more money was something that I expected because I knew I wouldn't be wasting money on taxis to and from town and bottles and tables and takeaways and deliveroos the next day. But because I had so much more spare time and I was being more productive and I was building better habits, I hadn't just reduced my expenditure, I'd increased my income. Then increased my capacity to increase my income. I was more competitive because I could outwork everyone else and still had spare time left over. I also found myself being more selective with the people that I hung out with. I realized that the only thing I bonded with some people over was that we both ended up getting drunk in the same places each week. But beyond that, I didn't really have anything in common with them. Some friends started to drift away, which was fine. But I realized that if they were genuine friends, they'd support me in the path to bettering myself. And if friends only wanted to be around me when I was destroying myself along with them, then maybe I needed better friends. And I discovered that if I can't stand them when I'm sober, then I definitely need better friends. Next up, the increased mental sharpness was something I really didn't expect because I already thought I was relatively sharp. But over time, I found that my memory and my verbal agility and my creativity had all improved far more than I thought they would. This kicked in really hard after about three months and it felt like a brain fog had been lifted. Even though I thought I'd been close to my limit, I still had so much more to gain. I imagine it's like putting on a pair of glasses for the first time and seeing sharply. Obviously, I don't know what caused this, right? I'm sleeping better, I'm building better habits, I have more time, I'm in a better mindset, but going sober, caused the outcome of a better mental state, even if it wasn't because of the sobriety itself, what the sobriety enabled put me in a better place mentally. One of the changes that I really wanted was a more stable mood. If you think about it, a hangover is basically acute self-induced depression for an afternoon. Over time, I'd kind of just accepted that as a way of life. I didn't realize how much that constant reset to my mood was just bringing me back down and limiting my happiness. Obviously, this didn't mean that there were no challenges for me to overcome, but it did mean that I was far more resilient when they happened, because I stopped getting in my own way and making life more difficult than it needed to be. Something I really wasn't ready for was how much I changed my personal integrity and what I expected from myself. I couldn't excuse bad behavior and write it off as a part of being young and dumb and sometimes drunk. I found myself reflecting more on my actions, why I'd done something, what my motivations were for it, and holding them to a higher standard. Without a situation every couple of weeks with a bunch of decisions that I could easily excuse by alcohol, I couldn't hide when I fell short of meeting this level of integrity that I expected from myself. Honestly, stopping drinking has changed my life. Everything improved and got exponentially better as it compounded more and more and more. I never had a bad relationship with alcohol, but you don't know how good life could be until you take it away. Stopping drinking has got me to a place where I'm more balanced and confident and happy and successful and a lot more proud of myself. You don't have to try sobriety, but if you do, it might just change your life.